I believe productivity is all about small steps, frequent improvements. For example, if I tell you there's a way to format text in Evernote without using the two bar. Today I'll show you a set of symbols that you can use. You can type while typing your notes and format the text. You see that they are quite intuitive and with some practice, you memorize them in no time. And the best part is that Evernote is using a standard called Markdown. So what you learn today, you'll be able to use in several other apps. Let's go to the computer. Let's start with the basic rule. You have to type space, tab, or enter after a key combo. Let's begin with the headers. If you type one hashtag, then space, you have a large header, okay? Two hashtags for the medium and three hashtags for the small. Pretty easy to remember, right? Say you wanna create a checklist. Open a bracket, close a bracket, space, item one, item two, item three. And what about a bullet list? You can start with an asterisk, A, B, C. It also works with a minus symbol or a plus symbol. And let's say you didn't want to create a bullet list here. All you have to do is undo. <laughs> Use command Z on a Mac or control Z on Windows. It will undo it. And if you look closely, you see that the cursor is already a space ahead. So it doesn't matter if you hit space again, you can write whatever you want. And yes, you can create a numbered list. One dot space. And there you have it. A, B, C. And what about the checkbox? Let's say you are writing something and you need a check box, the same brackets, and it will create a check box. And you know what? If for some reason you need a checked check box, you can also do that. Just put an X inside it, and there you have it. Has this been useful so far? I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Here's one I use all the time, minus, 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 enter, and you create a divider. But you can do it with three asterisks, and you can also do it with three equal signs. Let's do something that is not text formatting. Say you want to create a table, you can use the brackets. In this case, I'll have a single line table with three cells. And what about a table with multiple lines? It is possible. Let's try like four by two. Just type the number of cells and multiply it by the number of lines you want. Pretty cool, right? At this point, I'm sure you already noticed that if I type a web address, it will become a link. But let's say you wanna add that link to part of a text. You can do it. Open a bracket, click here, write the part of the text that you want as a link, close the bracket, open a parenthesis, and now write the address. Close the parenthesis and remember spacebar to visit my site. And here's the link. By the way, this is my website. <laughs> and if you want to support what I'm doing here on YouTube, there are several ways to do it. Back to the note, I still have some key combos to show you. If you need to create a code box, three back quotes will do it. But there's a catch here, the spacebar will not work in this case. You have to use enter or tab, okay? Let's say you already know what you wanna write inside it. Start with one back quote, another back quote, enter or tab. Maybe emojis, column, and the name of the emoji. Let's try this one, green heart. No, what about green heart? Oh, that worked. Evernote supports many common emojis. Keep trying, 
but at the time of recording this video, you cannot use this key combo to create emojis on Evernote for Android. Now let me show you a tip to help you memorize all this. Click the keyboard, you see the keyboard shortcuts bar, scroll down to the bottom of the page and here they are. Want to learn more tips? Watch this other video and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.